In order to keep your scoreboard looking and operating perfectly, season after season, year in and year out, the Scoreboard Service Company has created this series of instructional videos to keep your scoring equipment running smoothly. We recommend viewing the specific video tutorial you need several times to understand how to correctly perform each repair. You may find it helpful to view these videos on your smartphone while working on the scoreboard, while in your gym or on the field. If you run into any problems during a replacement or repair, please call the scoreboard service company for assistance. When a scoreboard service company technician instructs you to replace an LED vane or the vane driver on your scoreboard, this video tutorial will show you how to perform this repair. The tools you will need to remove and replace a vane or driver board are a cordless drill, a quarter inch nut driver, a 5 16th nut driver, needle nose pliers, and a replacement vane or a replacement driver board. Begin by turning off the power to the scoreboard. Use the drill and a quarter inch nut driver to remove one edge of the Z-rail holding the digit to the scoreboard. Take a picture or draw a diagram of how the two three-wire power cables and both ribbon cables are attached to the driver. The ribbon cables are attached to the input and output connectors. Label each ribbon cable with either input or output before removing them from the driver board. The three wire power cables can attach to either connector. Remove the two three wire power cables and the five pin ribbon cables from the digit. Carefully remove the entire digit from the scoreboard. On an LED vein digit, there are seven veins which make up a single digit. The veins on a digit are assigned a letter to ensure correct connection with the vein driver board. Facing the front of the scoreboard and starting at the top vein on the digit, this vein is called the A vein. Going clockwise around the digit, the next vein is labeled B, and so forth. The middle vein is the last letter of the chain and is called the G vein. These letters match up with the driver board, which has the same letters printed on the board. There are two additional connectors on the driver, labeled H and I. These connections are used for additional scoring features. Use only the A through G vein connections for the seven veins on a digit. Each vein is attached to the digit with two nylon nuts on the inside of the digit. Remove these nuts and swap out a new vein for the old one. Attach the two wire vein power cables onto the new vein making sure to align the red and black wires with the label printed on the vein. Reattach the three wire power harness cables and the five pin ribbon cables to the driver. Make sure you align the black wire on the power cable with the guide on the driver and orient the red stripe on the ribbon connector with the stripe guide on the driver as well. Fasten the digit to the scoreboard. Turn on the scoreboard power and the keyboard and check to make sure the scoreboard and all of the digits are working correctly. Located beneath the middle G vein on the digit is the vein driver. This is the control board for the digit and all veins are attached to this driver board alphabetically. There are also additional connector ports for attaching two three wire power cables and two five pin ribbon cables onto this driver. When you are replacing the vein driver, you may find it easiest to remove each cable from the old driver and place them in the same location on the new driver. The vein driver board also has labels for every vein lettered A through I. Be sure each vein is connected to the correct letter on the driver board. Be aware of how each red and black wire is oriented on each vein connector. 
Use the guide printed on the driver board to correctly reattach each cable. Remove the three nuts holding the old driver to the digit face. You may use the needle nose pliers or the drill and the 5 16 inch nut driver to remove these nuts. Reattach the new driver to the digit using these nylon nuts. Attach all the vein connector cables, the power cables, and the ribbon cables to the driver. Ensure the red stripe on the ribbon cables line up with the stripe printed on the driver board. Reattach the digit to the scoreboard. Turn on the power to the scoreboard and keyboard and test to ensure the scoreboard and all the digits are functioning correctly. If you're still having problems with a vein on the digit or a nearby digit is not working, remove the digit and verify that all of the cables are in the correct port and the red and black wires and stripes are oriented correctly. Replacing a vein and driver will take about 30 minutes. If you have any questions, Contact the Scoreboard Service Company at 1-800-411-3136.